Hello everybody, Manual Man here again. I haven't been on in a while, but uh, it's been kind of doing stuff. I'm going to show you uh, the latest toy I picked up. You know, I can't help myself, so that's the way it goes. I picked myself up a 1989 Honda CRX. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's not the greatest looking one in the world, but it's got potential and that's what it's all about, is the potential. So, and she's, uh, you know, she's pretty good looking uh, for what it is, for being a 30 year old car. The interior is pretty damn good for what I say for 30 years. Uh, not that bad. Um, the body's straight, you know, it's got a shitty paint job, but crappy tires and rims, but it's okay. Um, it's doing all right, but coming around the front right here we got ourselves a b20 now mind you this is just stock it's a stock b20 but it is an uh, engine swap um, it's not a VTEC but it's got a b16 transmission inside so it's got the shorter gear ratios and my god man this thing at a hundred and what 30 horsepower maybe 140 horsepower possibly that this motor produces damn I mean, this thing just cannot keep the wheels to the ground. It's pretty fun. But this motor is going to come out. And uh, I'm going to put a VTEC in. I'm going to put a V16 in. I'm going to put a big turbo in. Um, I'm going to try to pull, make this thing be around 500, maybe 600 horsepower when I'm done with it. So it's going to be completely different from what it is now. This is just a shell. I'm going to be working on it massively. So I'm going to... Suspension, it's already got suspension, but it's crap. Um, I gotta change the fenders out, and the hood, and everything. It's just cosmetic, really, stuff. The body is pretty straight. There's nothing really majorly wrong with the car. It just needs to be a little TLC. But, you know, I f this thing is a fun little blast, man. I can't wait to take it on the track and do all that stuff. And I still have the RS. The RS is still there. You know, it's just another little toy I add to the collection. Um, you know, I'll still do videos on the RS. I got a couple things coming up on the RS here in a bit. But, uh, and then I got this uh, 49 Ford. I'll bring out and show everybody what, uh, what I've been doing to this truck for about 12 years. So it's been taking about 12 years to get that truck going um, the way it is now. It runs, everything's good. It's just, you know, still a little work in progress. But this is my new toy right here, the Honda CRX 89, and I uh, can't wait to have some fun in it. This thing's already fun as shit, but I uh, gotta, gotta do some, gotta do some stuff. Gotta clean this thing up, maybe put a lot of JDM parts on here. It already, believe it or not, has a lot of JDM parts from the interior. Um, <clears throat> the the uh, air conditioning unit, which is right there, that's broken, but I'm gonna fix it because these things are rare, so I'm gonna try to fix that thing. But the, the whole thing is, even though the car, the AC has been taken out, that one AC button right there is worth about $40 alone. <laughs> Fucking funny. Um, it is a JDM part. Also, believe it or not, this little defroster button right there that defroster button come to find out that's a jdm part and they want a hundred dollars for that goddamn button so it's kind of funny uh so i discovered there's quite a few little jdm pieces floating around and when i bought the car the guy that i bought it from the front of this car there's one that's all black and crappy because he replaced it with a shitty one because it had a jdm front end on it so this is the reason why the front's black and it's all fucked up and fucked up looking because these were just bullshit parts the guy had around the shop and he put them on and he kept the good pieces so eventually I'll find JDM parts and our fenders and, and uh, bumpers and get all that put on JDM hood I found a couple of nice JDM hoods online with the nice little raised bump maybe a raised bump right here <clears throat> for the cam pulleys so that's kind of cool you know that only came from Japan so I'll, I'll probably get something like that, put that on, because I'm not going to do any carbon fiber or nothing. It's going to be steel. I'm not going to hurry. It's already so light, it's ridiculous. So, Anyways, everyone, manual man here, and I'll keep everyone posted of all my little toys I've been playing with, and I uh, hope everyone uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you. Bye.